The truck is here. Is it FedEx? Awesome. Hey, man. How are you? Good. You mind if you're on YouTube? <laughs> you're like, oh, well. <laughs> Have a great day. Be safe out there. Have a good day. You too. So this is my 2015 Cadillac ATS, all-wheel drive, 2.0T. I've had endless drivetrain issues for the last 20 plus thousand miles, and the local dealer has fixed so many things, so many layers. In my last visit though, they sent it back and they said, you have bent wheels. I didn't believe them. I took it for a drive, my wife took the car for a drive, it smoothed out. Flat spots, complete flat spots. But then we had a real cold snap. Temperature outside dropped 20, 30 degrees, and the tire pressure went lower. I felt vibration again, even at low speeds. I put my kids in the car, I felt more vibration. So I jacked the car up to change the oil, and while this front wheel, which was one of the worst violators, had a 16 pound road force uh, rating on it, if you will, I thought, hey, it's hanging in the air. I had the car up, let's check it. So I took my drill, I put it on the inside of the rim, and I turned it slowly, and sure enough, an eighth of an inch deviation in one spot. It was definitely an impact. I'm sure the back one, didn't even check it, is the same. I had one other wheel with a six pound, and one wheel with a zero pound. So I went online, I did some more research, and guess what I found? BMW form that I was on, car very similar to this one in size and weight, had the same issue. A Little bit of vibration at speed, kinda came and went in and out, and all the mature, experienced guys said, check your wheels. So the guy did, he had a little bit of vibration, but they road force balanced out within spec. And the other guy said, no, you gotta change your wheels. This car will amplify that, change your wheels. So he did, and it fixed it. So the final last vibration in this car, I've changed all the fluids, it got better, it got smoother. I've done everything so far, besides starting to replace all the parts. So I was just gonna order three wheels, and then my wife curbed one. <laughs> so I ordered four new wheels, and I just got them in the mail. I'm gonna have them installed tomorrow morning. I just gotta get them ready. There are a few things as awesome as new wheel day. Oh, I pray there's no damage, no damage, no damage. New wheel day. Did I mention new wheel day? Dents, dents. Boxes are beat up. Moisture, oh, that's wet. That got wet. Oh, poor wheels. What have they done to you? All right, we're basking in it. the packaging. Oh, it's so light. Niche Misano, 18 by eight, 40 millimeter offset, 70.6 millimeter bore, matte black. This is it. Dang, that looks nice. Man, I've already got a curved wheel. I'm gonna put each and every one of these on my car, just one at a time, and I'm gonna spin them to see if there's any dents or bends that may have happened in shipping. Now, one thing that's nice about this satin black finish, it's a lot easier to match than other colors. So as long as this is not a flat spot and this wheel's round, I'll allow it, but that's frustrating. It says it's matte black, it's not. It is a satin finish. Oh, we got damage. This is damaged cut here and the wool is cut. Another little damage spot here. Man, is that bent? All right, last one. A little scuffing on the back, just like the other ones. But the front looks really good, don't you think? I gotta check their trueness and we'll go from there.
when I get ready and everything's rolling smooth, I'm gonna pull these wheels off and I'm gonna detail the underbody. Redo my brakes, rotors, everything. Make it perfect. But for now, while everything's kind of broke, no interest. It's a nice looking wheel. I also have new lug nuts coming. Checking the outer edge. That looks good. Looks real good. That's rock solid. All right, this wheel's good. All right, wheel number two. All right, this is a, a very well used but workout pad. Just in case I tap the ground. You know, maybe you think this is overkill, but I have been through a nightmare with this car with vibration. And this is the tiniest, last, potentially, last piece of it. So if brand new wheels fix this issue, I'll be a happy man. But no point in going through all this unless these wheels are perfect. And after I saw some of the damage from shipping, it's possible. All right, this is the one that took a pounding that's got the actual curb rash on it already. Here comes the curb rash. Oh, it's not dented. It's not dented. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I like it. It's really good. putting the shipping padding back on so I can carry them to the tire store. Okay. Checking. Wheels around. It's an important feature. Okay. All right, winter wheels coming up. Whew. All right, so I got my old wheels and my new wheels ready to go. This is a long shot. Is it gonna fix what could just be vibrating wheels or do I still have drivetrain vibration? Ah, I pray this does it. I pray the car rolls smooth under acceleration up hills with weight in, with weight out. Low tire pressure, high tire pressure, it should just roll smooth. So we'll find out. Tomorrow morning is my appointment. I'll see you next video and I'll let you know how things went. God bless you. Peace.